What's up, guys? This is Webby back again for your Monday Night Raw review for July 24th, 2017. What an underwhelming show we just got! Absolutely. Three weeks away from the biggest party of the summer, the hottest ticket of the summer, the second biggest event in WWE's calendar year. And this was a very underwhelming show. Big Cass versus Enzo again. Why? Why must we see Big Cass destroy Enzo again? Only to see, well, well, it's the big show. Slowly make his way down to the ring and then get destroyed by Big Cass. Did get to see something good, though which everybody saw coming, and that's the opening segment. Fail four-way in the main event for SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar defending the Universal Championship against Roman Reigns. Samoa Joe. And the Monster Among Men. Braun Strowman. This very entertaining segment. Guys brought all over the place. Locker room had to come out. Everything. So, after they came in and pretty much Roman Reigns named off everything that he has done, which really just sucked. And no one cares about. No one cares that you have main event so many WrestleManias. No one cares that you have all these championships to your name. No one cares. Because you sucked with them. Done nothing with them. And, yeah, for your information, Roman Reigns, the crowd at the Royal Rumble was loud because they wanted you out of the building when you make that statement. <sighs> Dumb in the opening segment. When Roman Reigns said that. Absolutely. I know it was a, a job, a real jab at last night's event, Battleground, when people sounded like crickets in the arena. But, so that was the first thing we got to see tonight. Elias Sampson versus Finn Balor. Pretty good contest. Nothing really to complain here. Really built up Finn Balor versus Run Bray Wyatt, the Eater of Worlds, which you know is going to pretty much be Bray Wyatt spitting out his nursery rhymes uh, about all his worlds that he lives in and all this stuff. And then eventually losing at SummerSlam to Finn Balor. Going to be intriguing though, I think, because it's two dark characters. However, I mean, honestly, Bray Wyatt won a couple matches before this rivalry started to be fed. The Finn Balor can see it coming. 
Nia Jax versus Emma. That's what I have to say about that matchup. Nothing. Emma sucks. WWE has made it where Emma sucks. Nia Jax easily disposes of Emma, throwing her in the trash. Bailey versus Sasha Banks. The winner becomes the number one contender for the Women's Championship at SummerSlam. Bailey picks up the victory here. I was very surprised about this. Honestly, I thought Sasha Banks would continue the rivalry with Alexa Bliss. Didn't. I'm okay with this. Restart the rivalry. Renew the rivalry from when Bailey got absolutely decimated in that kendo stick match, pretty much, what it was. So, absolutely decimation of that match, renewing that rivalry, should be good at SummerSlam. Jason Jordan has his debut. Kurt Hawkins was given the facts tonight because Jason Jordan absolutely wiped the floor with him. Does anybody care? No, not really. I mean, Kurt Angle in the back, all smiles. His boys out there getting the win. Absolutely. The Revival and Anderson and Gallows talk trash at each other about what they've done beating up everybody. The Revival says they're the main team and they've destroyed everybody. They've sent people to SmackDown. They've, they've beat people up so bad that some teams are broken now and all this stuff. And the next thing you know, Anderson and Gallows comes out, and they're saying they've done it first before everybody else. And then they have their tag team encounter right at the end. Matt and Jeff come out and interfere. Revival ends up picking up the victory. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy run down to the ring. They get in the brawl. Hardy's standing tall tonight. First time we've seen that in a few weeks. And in the main event, very underwhelming show, but in the main event, The Miz Taraj versus Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Earlier on, Dean Ambrose is having some trust issues with Seth Rollins, which he very well should have. I mean, look at their past. Look at their past. Seth Rollins turning on the shield in that huge rivalry they had. Authority and Ambrose, a hell in a cell match. The regular matches are trusting, but in the end, this was a pretty good contest. No brainer who was going to win. They're not going to have the Miz Taraj beat Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. They're not going to have that. Does that make any sense at all? Absolutely not. Ambrose and Rollins. Pick up the victory in the main event of Monday Night Raw tonight. And Ambrose still does not trust Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins tried to do the fist pound like they all did in the Shield reunite. And Ambrose wouldn't do it. He walked off. 
shaking his head, not trusting him. But that was Monday Night Raw tonight. Three weeks away from SummerSlam. Anything to look forward to? <sighs> the big show and big cast. They built that up. I'm sure they'll find some way to add more women into the women's matchup. But right now, it is Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. And they let us know the entire match, main event. Other than that, they did a poor job building SummerSlam tonight. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter and Facebook at 2007Webby. Catch me tomorrow for my SmackDown Live review. Until I see you again, this is Webby. I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.